I never wanted to do anything else but write. I read Lord of the Rings and was just blown away and thought I want to do this when I grow up. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wrote my first book when I was 23 and it was accepted for publication. I, I went from China then to working in Eritrea in East Africa and I was there for two years. Uh, I couldn't get the book published because it was about Eritrea and there was no, no one was interested in Eritrea. I went back to China and thought I actually want to write a novel. So those two have been kind of travel logs or stories about my life. Success, I think, has been difficult for me. You just say, okay, what I've done is not good enough, I'm gonna work harder. And I've been writing historical fiction for the last 17 years. You know, I'm 46 now, been writing for, you know, 23 years or being published for this long. And it's only now that I start to feel I know what I'm doing. I think confidence, in any artist, what you're doing, you have to be very confident in what you're doing. Um, and I feel now kind of more confident than ever, which is great, it's a great place to be in. The historical novel is, I think now, a lot more work than contemporary because especially I'm not the kind of novelist who picks a period and keeps writing about it. I'm, I want to do something new and interesting each time. So with Macbeth, I have to do a lot of research on kind of Celtic poetry, Celtic languages, Celtic worldview from that period uh, to try and capture him as a character. I think history is vivid and interesting enough. If you try and simplify it, you're losing some of the, the complexity and the interesting you know, nature of the story that had happened. Uh, the more difficult it is, I think the better it comes out at the end. Really good historical fiction has a kind of archaeological value, which is that it explores unknown areas and hopefully comes up with, maybe not the facts, but new ways of seeing that period. Yeah, it's asking them questions, I think. We just have to understand the period they're in. So I spent most of my life negotiating other cultures and their different ways of doing any, anything. And so it's understanding the culture and the, the values of each culture, and then uh, working out how that influences the character. First of all, we, we describe the character's physical appearance, and then go into their childhood, and then go into their, their life now. What was the last you know, book they read? Or which character, who do they admire most in the world, and why? Um, what secrets are your characters keeping? And I think, you know, a really valuable question is what is your character most afraid of? What's the worst possible thing that could happen? Watching someone go through hell is, is kind of, is very gripping uh, viewing. In a sense, because we've all been there at some point. Often in history, characters do things that don't make sense to us now, or it seems so stupid. Uh, but you have to, it didn't seem stupid to them then. Um, so you have to kind of get back into their mindset. So you have to kind of, um, create someone who's a little bit crazy um, and make them empathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I think understanding the story. The other thing that I think is much more important is what is the story about? Uh, the first draft is kind of understanding the story, but until I've kind of walked uh, through the character's life or that part of the story in fictional form, only then can I actually really Set, take kind of control of their story. Writing is 95% hard work and 5% talent. Being a writer is a very uh, romantic appearing thing to be. In Ireland, there were lots of people who hang around the bar in Ireland and they were writers, um, never wrote a thing, but they, they sat in bars and drank and you know smoked cigarettes and appeared like writers. A book is a, a long time spent alone, working very hard with no hope of you know, or promise of success but it's joyful you know, at the same time. I think one really important thing is to take a notebook with you at all times. First of all, remind you that you're a writer and a writer is not something you know, that you, it's not a costume. And um, it means that when your friends or your, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend say, you know, come out for a drink or um, you know, I'm watching t you know, TV, come and sit with me, then you say no. It reminds you that you're a writer. And I think taking your, telling yourself that you're a writer I think don't tell other people. Um, nothing sounds more pretentious than saying, you know, I'm a writer. You know, telling yourself you're a writer uh, allows you to take yourself seriously. And taking yourself seriously uh, means that you take your work more seriously, which means you write more confidently. And if you are writing confidently, you know, you are, you know, you are flying. So essentially what your notebooks are is they're, they're the first draft of your novel. First thing to do is start taking notes and then how you use your notes, because um, they're what make your story, you know, uh, you really, your expression of the world. 
um, so hugely important.